Hey y'all, Mikey Wormer here with another episode of my Greg Tech New Horizons playthrough. Last episode we upgraded our pickaxe to steel, leveled it up, and then mined up some obsidian. That allowed us to craft the alumite dust, pour it out in the smeltery as plates, and then craft the tool forge, which allowed us to craft this tinker's hammer, which is super cool. Uh, in today's episode, we are going to do a couple different things. Uh, one, we are going to craft the flint and steel, and that is kind of our last stepping stone to getting into the nether. We can actually go ahead and craft that now. I've worked on these uh, steel components here off screen, so I've got those ready to go. And there's our flint and steel. Uh, the other thing I want to do, so I, I could take our obsidian and go ahead and put the... Uh, portal together right and I'm gonna do that um, but another thing I want to accomplish in today's episode my charcoal reserves are almost fully depleted and obviously I've been doing a lot of processing with steam so I want to find up I want to come up with a way of doing this a little bit better and we're getting pretty close here uh, you can see I have used a saw on iron ingots which splits it into iron nuggets uh, and it's not a shapeless recipe. It had to be, uh, we can just kind of do it one more time here. Uh, it has to be in this location, right? It's just like all the other saw stuff. So that, that kind of confused me for a while, but you split it into nuggets and then you can put the nuggets, uh, in a furnace and that smelts to wrought iron nuggets, which are then going to bring back over here to the compressor and have that compressing into wrought iron ingots. Uh, and the whole reason we're doing all this is for the charcoal pile igniter. This seems seems to be the Greg Tech version of the forestry uh, charcoal pile, where you can put a bunch of logs underground, set them on fire, and then come back and get a ton of coal or charcoal out of it. Uh, so that's that's what we're going to do. I've never done this before, so I don't know. I'm hoping it's a lot better than a one-to-one -one ratio on the logs, but we'll see. Uh, so as soon as all that gets done smelting, then we'll be good to go. I need to rearrange this a little bit. Uh, we'll be good to go to craft the wrought iron machine hull. Is that what it's called? Bricked wrought iron hull, right? I'm lacking these wrought iron plates, but I've got my bricks and I've got everything else. So that's the last thing before we can craft that up. Uh, I guess while that's happening, if we look at the tooltip for this, uh, hold down shift, and it gives you some ideas about the size there. Shape doesn't matter. Bricks have to be the bottom layer under all wood logs. And then you've got dirt and grass all around and then on top. And then uh, you have the controller on top and then possibly also bricks on top, but we'll just do dirt. And no air between dirt uh, or between the logs allowed. So I'm just gonna do this. Let's just do it right here in front of this. And I'm just going to do like a three by three, but then obviously it's going to be pretty deep. I do have my bricks on me. Yeah. So keep in mind the gap between which I need to go and grab like a stack of logs. Keep in mind that this, I, I guess you could maybe do it. I guess the corners probably don't have to be filled in. So you could put blocks on top of this maybe. But my plan is to have this layer be the top layer. So this is going to be all dirt plus the controller. This layer will be logs. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, and then your bottom layer is going to be all brick, right? So if I want to do like a three by three by three volume, then I need to dig down five, which that should be four. And then this layer right here is going to be my bricks, which is convenient. And then someone will drop my bricks in. And then I put my logs in. And then hopefully by the time I've done this, we'll be ready to craft the wrought iron hull. And then hopefully, I'm hoping it doesn't actually consume my flint and steel. We're going to see. I, I have a feeling it might, but we'll see. Uh, okay, so the compressor still needs to run for a minute. And then we've got a couple more nuggets that need to smelt. 
uh, and then obviously those need to compress as well, right? So I'll see you when that's finished. Actually, you know, while that's finishing up, something that's been on my mind a while is uh, obviously the base itself, if you could call it a base, has inventory problems. But my inventory itself has inventory problems. One thing, especially when we're out mining, that can help with that is the miner's backpack. This should automatically pick up any ore blocks that we mine, I believe. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and craft this up. You can see it's one tan leather, four regular iron and woven cotton. Uh, so this should actually be a fairly easy recipe. Before I do that, let me load up our steam boilers here. And then we can go ahead and load up the forge hammer with our wrought iron ingots. Uh, okay. And then, so we need to pick up four regular leather, one tanned leather, which should be, yep. One tanned, four regular, and then woven cotton was the other thing, right? Um, I probably have, I guess I don't have any. Uh, but I do have string. Uh, I should have a lot more string than that. Unless I've used it all up. Alright, we'll just make some string. And, uh, yeah. We've got all the stuff we need for this uh, thing. So let's see. Uh, the miner's backpack. We need two of these. Done. And then that's it. There we go, miner's backpack. And then so I believe, let's give this a little test. Uh, here's my ores. You can see I upgraded this to an iron chest and I've added all my ores to it. I'm gonna upgrade it to gold at least in the very near future. Yeah, I think they went in there. Nice, cool. So that should help when we're out uh, mining. I think you can also shift click, lock, I think you can do that and that <laughs> that uploads and then you can do that and that downloads right uh, and that was just shift clicking with the backpack so so there we go awesome uh, I need to put that cotton up uh, let's go ahead and grab our wrought iron plates here and then we should be good to go on this wrought iron hull which means we should also be good to go on this. Uh, okay, so it did consume the flint and steel. Okay, so I'm gonna craft up that flint and steel again off camera and I'll see you then. Okay, so I've crafted up another flint and steel. I've placed down my charcoal pile igniter. It didn't require anything else. It just, you place it down. It took, you know, half a second and then it started working. Uh, and you can see progress 110 seconds out of 127. So that's really cool. So let's go ahead and place down our nether portal. Um, I don't really have any current strong feelings about where this goes at the moment. I'm just going to move it a little bit away from the base. And we'll try it right here. Just for simplicity. Uh, and then, da, 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 da. okay. Oops. There's our nether portal. And then, so walking through this thing should check off the nether quest. And then the thing we're looking for in the nether is going to be mostly sulfur ore, I believe. I think these extra... Sphalerite will be important later for gallium and zinc. Okay, so we want to locate these, but sulfur is kind of the main one we need right now. So let's get our sword ready just in case. I have no idea what to expect, and we'll walk through. Okay, flesh biome. Not my favorite, but here we are. Uh, nether fortress that seems useful as long as there's not a blaze spawner like immediately right there okay this uh this seems not bad at all really 
Nice. Cool. Um, so I'm going to look around for some of that uh, sulfur ore. And I'll see you when I find some. All right, so I just found this sulfur vein. It took a minute. Remember that the uh, method of ore veins is still the same in the nether as it is in the overworld. So you're still looking for the centers of those uh, chunks, right? And <laughs> that's what I was trying to do. Uh, there we go. We're picking it up now. That's what I was trying to do. And then I just was not finding anything at all. So I ended up kind of abandoning that and just wandering around, happened across some exposed sulfur ore. Definitely not the most efficient way of doing things, um, but it got the job done this time. Cool. Well, that's everything for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please subscribe and give a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.